this was a hot topic on the last live stream guys so right now let's go ahead and talk about screen clarity and getting a clear image as a lot of you guys know it is the season where the pollen is out depending on what part of the country you are in so i just recently cleaned the screen off and i'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it i'm just trying to get it at a different angle maybe you guys can see that but i just cleaned the screen off and there's pollen all around the screen and actually let me just wipe it again just kind of clear off the bottom Part of the screen and maybe you can see the difference up here at the top area there's pollen still on there and where I just wiped it's clean now but I can see pollen getting right back on there as I am recording this video and basically what that means is if you look up here you will see all of this kind of noise interference um, that's what a lot of guys are complaining about right now but guys that is going to have a lot to do with the pollen and everything that is out right now. The other issue that some of the guys have been mentioning is on these bright sunny days. Take a look up there, guys. It is shining bright out here today. So you can get some type of glare that kind of comes off of the water. And sometimes it can affect that, um, that quality that you're seeing on your screen as far as that interference up there. So what I did is I just took the time to adjust some of the settings on here. Um, let me just go into the menu settings right here so you guys can take a look at the settings that I currently have. And one of the main things that I was doing is taking the time and going through here just adjusting these settings to what I felt was best for me. And as a lot of you guys know that as long as I can get out here and I can see that cover and I can see like you can see that fish right there moving around and I have my target lock brand new target lock guys. I have a, some updates that I will be talking about with that target lock also. So make sure you guys subscribe to the channel because I am always trying to bring value to you guys. But if you take a look, you can I can see the cover. I can see the fish moving around in there. And also, obviously, I can see all of this interference up here at the top. So if you want to clear that out, the thing that you give up sometimes is the quality of the image that you're going to see down here. So um, let me just head back into the um, settings right here. So I just hit the menu button once. You see I have my sensitivity set on 11. My contrast is on 8. My dynamic contrast is on high right now. Auto sensitivity slash contrast is off and let's just go through here real quick and my dynamic contrast is on high uh, just wanted to make sure that i didn't leave anything out uh let me see the color palette is on three persistence mode i currently have it on medium a lot of the times i'll leave that on low and i did a video where i just discussed what that mega live remote does for you as far as clearing up that menu so make sure you guys take a look at that video um, let me see. All right, so just going through here, guys. So those are the main um, settings that I was adjusting to get this kind of set up the way that I want. So let's go back up here and take a look at uh, the sensitivity first. Right now I have it on 11. So let's kick that all the way up until we start getting a lot of interference on there. So that's on 20. Now let's kick it down until that interference goes away. And I want you to pay attention. As this area up here gets clear, you're gonna lose some of that image quality that you have there. Um, well, I say quality, but you won't be able to see as much um, information as you did before. So as we keep moving that down, right now I have it on negative two. So now let's drop down here to contra um, contrast. It's on eight right now. So let's kick that up. See, there we go at 18, 20. But as you can see, it starts clearing the screen up. All of that um, noise and everything that you have up here from the pollen or the glare from the sun or whatever that's coming from, that kind of starts going away, but let's kick it in the other direction. Start taking that contrast back down to that negative range. So as you can see, it kind of blows everything out. So you want to find a happy medium in there. For me, it's eight. I'm not so much concerned about what I'm seeing up here, but what that will affect for you is whenever you make that cast, a lot of times you will be able to see that bait whenever it hits the water and you can track it down, especially if you're throwing like a shaky head or a jig or something like that, you, or even your crankbaits, things like that. You'll be able to see them when they hit the water. When you have this type of noise or interference at the top of the screen from the pollen, like I was saying earlier, it can affect you being able to see when your bait first hits and you'll have to kind of let it get down in this area a little bit before you can start seeing it. But let's go back up here and kick the sensitivity. I think that was at 11. 
And the thing that I'm paying attention to, guys, is the image that I'm wanting to see. Whether whether I can see those fish, whether I can see the the cover that I'm um that I am focusing on. So that is what I'm watching. I'm also watching this, but more so I'm watching this to get this to where I need it to be. And depending on where that lands, I just kind of have to adjust what I am seeing and what I'm used to being able to look at the screen and kind of determine what I'm looking at. Just kind of have to work with it right now during this time where we have all this pollen and things that are out that are um, affecting those screens, guys. So I did that poll and there was a large percentage of percentage of guys that were saying they were having issues with that um pollen all right so let's see let's see i just want to make sure i didn't leave anything out for you guys so we took a look at the sensitivity the contrast oh the other thing let's go ahead and turn this auto sensitivity slash contrast let's turn that on and now let's go down here and adjust some of these settings again uh let's go to our sensitivity first so we had that on 16 i think we had it on 11 before so there we go what that looks like at 11 and let's drop down to the contrast. I had it on eight, it's currently on nine. So you can kind of play with that a little bit too. After you make that, that adjustment, then you wanna go back into your sensitivity and your contrast and make some adjustments again, just to see where it falls at. And again, these settings are for me for today. If you're on a different lake, which you are going to be a different part of the lake, or there may not be as much interference, as much piling or whatever is going on um, currently, then your settings will probably be different from mine. So all this is doing is giving you some ideas of some things that you can go in here to adjust to get that better uh, quality of an image on the screen. All right. So let's see. What did we adjust? The auto contrast. We oh, So the contrast, we have that on six right now. Dynamic contrast. That's currently on high. So let me change that to low. So take a look at that. Now, if you put that on low, that will allow you to go back up here and again, make some changes on your contrast. So let's kick that contrast. Uh, let me see. That's auto contrast. Let's go down to um, sensitivity. Hold on one second. All right, there's a the sensitivity. So let's kick that down. So it's a few different things that you can do to kind of get those settings changed up and get the screen depending on. See, take a look at that, guys. Now all of the interference is gone, but look at that quality of the image that you have. So you have to kind of find that happy medium. So I went back up to sensitivity. Let's kick that back up and see what happens there. So you can see it starts coming back in. The interference is not quite as much. So the thing is, guys, you have to spend some time really getting in here. And if you want that quality image, if that is one of the main things that you want, it is going to take some work to get out here, especially with the pollen and everything. I want to keep reiterating that, guys. That pollen and stuff is playing a role in, in this interference and everything that you have up here. So for some people, if it's more of a concern than others. Other guys like me, we're more concerned about where are those fish at, where's that cover, can I see the structure, and then we're ready to roll. Um, and again, I'm taking a look at the screen. I can see all of that pollen building right back up on the screen. So if it's getting that much on my screen, just imagine how much is out there on the water throughout the day. And actually, whenever I'm looking down here, you can barely even see the pollen whenever you're looking out at the water itself. But these electronics, it is definitely picking it up. All right, so let me just put my settings back to where I had them. Uh, let's see, so I had my dynamic contrast. I think I had that on high. Sensitivity, that was on 11. Contrast was on eight. Put that on eight and let's see, auto, con I think that was off. I think that's how I had it guys <laughs> all right but yeah so let me get back out here and finish uh, messing around with these settings there's a fish right there moving around um, but yeah just out here getting some more footage for, with, for you guys with this with this new target lock system that I put on here so I have some good updates that I'll be showing you guys on that so if you are interested in the target lock system or thinking about uh, you know getting it adding it to your boat or you may already have it I will be going through some things that will definitely uh, I think it'll be some things that would definitely help you out out here on the water, guys. All right, so I really, really appreciate you guys always contributing, always uh, getting active in the comment section, showing support for the channel. 
and you know just really interested in building this community and continuing to help each other out guys all right so let me get back out here and put in a little more work